Hello, my name is Paul Meskel and today I'm going to be reading Elmer and Super L by David McKee in support of Save the Children. Elmer the patchwork elephant was taking his morning walk when he heard an, oh no. Looking round, he spotted a small elephant dressed in an outfit that he recognised. Hello, Super L, Elmer said with a smile. What's the problem? Look! said the small elephant, showing his torn outfit. That thorn bush attacked me. If I'm seen like this, I'll be laughed at, and that's not very super. Aunt Zelda will soon fix that, said Elmer. We'll just have to make sure that we're not seen. Our first problem will be to pass the elephants. I'll distract them, come on, it'll be fun. Elmer went to the elephants and called out. I've just heard a good joke, listen. The elephants all looked at him. There was an elephant, a lion, and a fish, he began. Oh dear, I've forgotten the rest. That's a good one, the elephants laughed. Elephants never forget. Meanwhile, Super L slipped past unnoticed. Elmer and Super L hadn't gone far when they heard lion and tiger approaching. Hello, said Elmer. Nice day for it. Uh, what? asked lion and tiger together. They were confused enough not to notice the little elephant on the rocks above them. We're near the hippo, said Elmer. He picked up a broken bush, hide behind this. Taking a bush for a walk, Elmer, chuckled the hippo. There's an elephant behind it, Elmer replied. Ha ha, always joking, Elmer, the hippos laughed. Once they were safely past, Elmer said, wait here, Super L. I have an idea how we get past both snake and the rabbits. The rabbits were listening in thrall to Snake as the two elephants slipped past them. What's going on? asked Super L. I asked Snake to tell the rabbits about the time he tricked me and the elephants, said Elmer. He tells it beautifully. They haven't noticed us. When they came to the crocodiles, Elmer threw a branch in the river to distract them. Then he and Super L crossed in the confusion that followed. It's not going to be easy to get past the monkeys, said Elmer. Leave that to us, said the birds. The birds were wonderful. They sang and flew in patterns above the monkeys' heads. The monkeys were too fascinated to notice the elephants. The little elephant nearly stopped to watch, but Elmer pushed him along. Thanks, birds, said Elmer later. You are fantastic. Look, there's Aunt Zelda saying goodbye to some friends. As soon as they've left, we'll go to her. Remember, she doesn't always hear too well. When the others had gone, Elmer said, Hello, Aunt Zelda. This is my friend, Super L. Yes, I'm very well indeed. Thank you, Elmer, dear, said Aunt Zelda. But your friend's suit is in a bit of a state. Shall I mend it? Oh, yes, please, said the little elephant. Elmer lay down and watched as Aunt Zelda set to work with a thread so fine you could hardly see it. Aunt Zelda, said Elmer, you are a wonder. Thunder, dear. I didn't hear anything, said Aunt Zelda. Super L smiled and Aunt Zelda quickly finished the repairs. Thank you. Now I feel super again, said the little elephant. I think you're both wonderful. Maybe one day I can do something for you. With that, he shot off like a rocket into the sky. He looped back just once to wave goodbye. If he's gonna rush about like that, he'll spoil his clothes again, said Aunt Zelda. Probably, said Elmer, chuckling. Probably. And that is it. Um, it would be amazing if you could donate to um, Save the Children. It's an amazing cause. And um, thank you for listening.